Let's learn how to use the selection and transformation tools in Calipeg. You can find the selection tool here in the sidebar. Tap on it and then you start on a freehand selection. So I can select a part of my drawing and transform it with that icon here. I can move around, rotate, scale and keep the ratio by holding one finger. I can flip horizontally, vertically. I can reapply my transformation. I can move the pivot point here and put it anywhere in the center here by holding one finger. So I can rotate around it. I can also put it here and rotate around. I can reset my transformation. Going back to my selection here, I just deselect by tapping on the selection again. I can select with a square or rectangle. I can select as an ellipse or circle. If I want to be quick, I just tap on the quick transform icon and then I select and it will become a transformation that I can use right away. That's handy to just select, transform and go to the next step. For example, there I will just scale a bit and rotate. If I want, I can also tap here and go to the perspective transformation. So I can do that to adapt my shape. And what I like about transformation is that I can apply it on several sheets, even on multiple layers. So here I will select all of that with a tap and tap drag. Then I tap on transform and I can transform everything, even in a perspective mode. And then to validate, I can tap again on the transformation and the transformation is applied on the whole selection. You can also define the quality of the transformation. For the example here, I will show it with pixel art. My shot is 50 by 30 pixels. I will use the raw brush without pressure control. One pixel. So I can draw like that. I will draw a character here. Then I display the floating menu two fingers long touch. Copy, paste, I move it here. And then I will transform one of them in high quality. In that kind of example, on a really tiny canvas, you can see even more that it will smooth the lines with different opacities. I validate. And if I do the same for that one, but in low quality, you can see it will move like that. But if I apply, you can see here there is no opacity difference. And there it added different opacities around the line. That's an extreme example here, but you get the idea. Here I have two identical drawings and I want to scale them up, which is not a good idea at any point because it's pixel based and making drawings bigger can decrease their quality. I select that one here. And I will scale it up by choosing here the low quality. I validate and then I select that one, scale it up and choose the high quality and validate. And now if I zoom in, I can see that the high quality is more smooth and the low quality is more pixelated, but it depends on what you want and I advise you to not have to scale drawing up. It can be nice for your rough, for example, but your clean has to be clean. In the selection mode here, you can select all the pixels in your current drawing sheet. So here in that, all the colors of the body. So now I can only draw within that selection. I can also invert my selection and be able to only draw outside. And to apply light and shadows on an animation, the best way at the moment would be to select all the pixels of my drawing, duplicate my layer without the content, put it over, and then choose a black color, and draw my shadows. And then just decrease the opacity of that layer. And that way, I have to do that 
for each frame, but I can draw my light and shadows pretty easily while keeping them on a different layer. For now, there is no mask feature in Calipeg, but it will come at some point.